I'm honestly surprised that I haven't made a video about Jayfeather yet. In my opinion, Jayfeather is just the most unique and notable cat in the series for many reasons. He's definitely the most popular cat outside the original series, but he still does get quite a bit of hate, mostly from those who proclaim he is whiny and overrated. And I mean, he is definitely whiny at times, and any character that is popular is called overrated, but I still think that people need to take a moment to think about Jayfeather. He might literally be the best thing to happen to Warrior Cat since the first book. And this is coming from someone who thinks that the power of three books are garbage. Jayfeather is the quirky and snappy young protagonist that the series needed. He might just be the reason that books are still being made today. He's not annoying. He's interesting. And I'll tell you why. The first reason is the obvious one. He's blind. Disability representation does exist in warrior cats, but main protagonists rarely have them, and none are as major as Jayfeather's blindness. Jayfeather's disability really works some storytelling magic. It ties really well into the themes surrounding him feeling isolated and weak around others. Also, it's just really interesting to read about. Instead of using sight to set up a scene, we get sound and touch, and a lot of scent. And he also gets telepathic powers, but I'll talk about that in a moment. To fully explain why I believe Jayfeather is so good, I really need to talk more about his personality, which Jayfeather haters think is absolutely disgusting and annoying. Jayfeather's grumpiness has developed into a form of comedic relief in newer books, but back when he was the main protagonist, it was definitely something else. Jayfeather's personality is really different from that of the typical Warrior's protagonist. Warrior's protagonists are always super positive and always right. They face hardship and doubt themselves, but eventually come out as the hero and role model. But Jayfeather, he has some of these traits, but he strays quite a bit. He's more cynical and selfish, and all around just not a cat you would want to be friends with. At least, on the surface. The writing team definitely wanted a character with growth when they made Jayfeather, and they certainly succeeded there. This cat started out as such a whiny child, with all of his denial of his blindness, reluctance to pursue medicine duties, and general disregard of the rules and the privacy of others. Jayfeather started out pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. And the one thing about Jayfeather's apprenticeship that really gets the Jayfeather haters riled up is his treatment of Brightheart. And you know what? I'm going to have to side with them here. Jaypaw was indeed a jerk. We got Brightheart. Firestar recognizes her hardships, and for the first time in her life, she is actually given the opportunity to make use of what she has learned from her terrible injury, and help change the life of this troubled young cat. But Jaypaw, he wants none of that. He's absolutely insulted that Firestar would give him such a useless mentor that can literally only understand half of the pain that comes from being blind. And j makes sure that Brightheart knows this, crushing her in the process, and that's really awful. So, why do I think Jayfeather is a good character? Well, I already said, growth. Jayfeather isn't born perfect like Blue Star, Fire Star, Brambleclaw, Leafpool, more recently Twig Branch, you get the point. We actually get to see Jayfeather explore a bit of his evil side, if you can call it that. And I don't mean evil like Jayfeather wants to kill, I mean more of a natural, everyday evil. Not caring about others' feelings, demanding too much, being too nosy, etc. It's much more interesting and believable that Jayfeather's path to success is a bit rocky. I don't want to see a kind-hearted baby that's too pure for the world. I want realistic emotions. I don't want Jayfeather to do good just because it's the right thing to do. I want Jayfeather to do good because he knows the pain that was caused from his past selfishness. Jayfeather's frustration with the world can actually end up being very relatable should you decide to identify with Jayfeather. 
he sort of struggles to properly identify the warmth and kindness that others give him out of fear that it isn't genuine. He is cynical. You see Firestar offering Brightheart as j -Paw's mentor because she is capable of empathizing with his struggles. j -Paw sees Firestar's choice as singling j -Paw out as a need of special assistance to even have a small chance of being a competent warrior. You see Leafpool giving up her role as mother so j -Feather can live a normal life. j -Feather sees a mother who cares more about her reputation than her son. It's a legitimate mental struggle that does exist outside of warrior cats. j -Feather isn't being a brat, he's just struggling. And he's struggling because it's really hard for him to connect to and understand others. And his blindness is the center of his issues. Blindness isn't just a condition that prevents j -Feather from being a warrior. It also hurts him socially. He can't pick up on visual expressions of affection or communication. Because j -Feather doesn't have this, he is left to assume things. And more often than not, he assumes the worst. But then, j -Feather finds himself with a gift. As part of the prophecy, j -Feather is given telepathic powers. He connects with emotions, memories, thoughts, and even dreams of others. And these powers sort of act as a catalyst to help j -Feather remove himself from his isolated and cynical past. Every instance of j -Feather using his powers sort of acts to make him more connected in one way or another. Saving Poppy Paw, saving Lion Paw, connecting with Cinder Paw while she was healing, becoming aware of Leafpool's strong emotions, all that stuff. And what we eventually see is a whole new j -Feather. I mean, remember when j -Feather invaded Briarlight's dreams in order for them to have a closer connection? No? Well, of course, because that didn't happen. j -Feather treated and cared for Briarlight with less reliance on his special powers. He opened himself up time after time and he eventually grew closer to ThunderClan Cats. Early on, he had crazy, invasive investigations of other cats' memories such as Leafpool, Cinderpaw, Brook, and others. But he stopped doing that over time because he learned to have more respect. In addition, he started to learn how to pick up emotions from others without using his powers. Whether that be with tone of voice, or even subtle sounds such as the dropping of a tail. j -Feather's growth fits perfectly with the resolution of The Last Hope. Star Clan was isolating themselves and telling the clans to do the same in the time of great conflict from the Dark Forest. In this tension, j -Feather gets accused of killing Flametail, and he gets through this by opening himself up to Star Clan and convincing the Star Clan cats to open themselves up to each other. Together, they are strong enough to face the Dark Forest, and j -Feather must do something similar in his own personal life as he must be open and honest about the fact that he thinks Leafpool still deserves to be a medicine cat. Whether it is Cinderpaw when she finishes healing or losing Holy Leaf, or even temporary things like Lion Blaze going on the Beaver Quest, the circumstances of Jay Feather's life as the Dark Forest approached were threatening to bring him back to his isolated and cynical past. Losing Leafpool as his partner in medicine duties was the biggest hit that he took. Because he felt so betrayed by Leafpool and Squirrel Flight's lies, he rejected their love because he felt it was fake. We hadn't seen this in j -Feather since way back in the Brightheart days. Thankfully, after stubbornly rejecting them for so long, j -Feather finally sees the error in his ways and allows their love to break back through and reach him once again. And later on, when the three Prophecy Cats lose their powers, j -Feather is the one least affected. There was a time when j -Feather was heavily reliant on his telepathy to connect with cats. But after overcoming so much and building connections where he needed them, he didn't need the power anymore. Over time, j -Feather built himself up and improved his social skills significantly. Now, j -Feather's grumpy behavior has become more of a joke among ThunderClan. He has learned to not take the little things so seriously 
and to not think the worst of others. Jay Feather isn't a perfect cat. He never was. However, he is such an interesting and respectable character because he was able to change his attitude over time for the benefit of both himself and all of the forest cats. Jay Feather did some selfish things, but it was all part of the journey that made him into a better cat. Open my heart and start again All that I've lost has never vanished I can still get it back